Hallo. Welcome to the February 2011 video blog. This month's subject is actually a different layout. As you can tell, this is not the usual Ulytic branch. Instead, this is my son's layout that I'm building him. We started this back in December, uh, usual construction and such. Anyway, I'll give you a quick rundown of, of uh, my son's layout here. It is size 70 inches by 40 inches. The track plan is a very simple oval with a double-ended passing siding here on the left. And he's got some industrial spurs in the middle part to do a little bit of switching when uh, the urge hits him. <clears throat> the power for his layout runs off of my layout, which is a Digitrack Super Chief system. I have uh, 12 gauge stranded wires as a bus running from my layout to his along with the local net cable. I also have a toggle switch so I can cut the power off to his layout when I don't want anything going to it. The track is good old Atlas Code 83. It is held down on the uh, styrofoam here with white glue and track nails. And I may add that I don't use a lot of white glue, just a thin bead. The bench work, look a little bit at this here. The bench work is all 1x4s, a simple rectangular frame with two extra cross braces in it. I also cut several triangular gussets to put into every corner where the on the outside of the frame as well as the cross pieces to help stiffen it up. <clears throat> the top is 2 inch pink styrofoam. Cut the fit. The trim panel on the front here is regular quarter inch Birchland plywood. The legs, we'll get a shot of these here, I'll zoom in on them. The legs are actually from my scrap pile. 3 quarter inch birch I ripped into two inch strips on my table saw and then uh, cut them to 20 inches in length and glued them into an L shaped uh, girder more or less. So it makes a very nice strong table leg. As I said they're 20 inches tall. The layout is set to come up right to the bottom of my son's belly when he's standing or as you can see here a really good height for him uh, sitting in a kid's chair. 
Um, if I were to make the legs any longer, I would probably put an extra brace in to stabilize it, but in all honesty, the thing is very, very solid. All in all, I'd say the bench work for this layout table and legs and styrofoam probably weighs not much more than 10 or 12 pounds. Very, very light, which is a big plus. Okay. Some of the structures on my son's layout are a mixture of old ones from previous layouts as well as some new ones that I've been building. This one here is the Walters uh, Beaver Lumber Company uh, Lumber Yard. I built this a number of years ago, uh, not long after it came out. Uh, it's one of his industries. Over here, from a layout that I had, actually that used to be in his room before he was born. Uh, this is another Walters uh, kit. It's the uh, wood-sided green elevator. Over here, that's my daughter you hear in the background. Over here, look out sweetheart. Okay, sorry about that folks. Over here's uh, the old uh, Northern Power Light Company um, power plant. I built this back probably in middle school. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about some other buildings on here. In the back is another old uh, Walters kit from years ago. Uh, the Merchant's Row kit. This will be part of uh, his downtown. We have a couple other buildings here, brick buildings. I can't remember if they're Walters or Design Preservation Models. Uh, <clears throat> those also are from older layouts. Back here, my son wanted a water tower very badly. This is the old Atlas kit. I repainted it gray, as I've seen in some photos of some Milwaukee Road uh, water towers. Uh, over here we have some uh, City Classics uh, the company houses. This was a three pack. Uh, I just recently built these as well. Finally found a home for them. And over here, we see the Blair Line General Store. I'm right in the middle of constructing this one. Actually, I've been working on it earlier. As you can tell, this is part of his downtown. Future buildings over in this area right here. Excuse my son, he's walking by. Over here, let me zoom out a little bit. We're going to put in a couple more, probably design preservation models, brick buildings. And that will probably be the extent of his downtown. We'll, after we get those buildings done, we'll start laying streets. The goal is to get all the scenery inside the loop here done first. Okay, a small overview of the layout here. Get the scenery inside the loop done first, and each and every corner is going to have its own little scene. Uh, the scene over here farthest away across from the water tower, that corner will be a uh, depot that we're going to put in, a kit by Depot by John, a Class A Milwaukee Road Depot to be exact. The corner over here we're planning on putting in a hillside with some rock cuts and trees. The corner right now where we're keeping some extra coal loads will be home to an old hillbilly shack set in the woods. Probably put an old pickup truck in there to make it interesting. And then the corner down here, right by us here, we don't know what we're putting in there yet. We've talked about a gas station, we've talked about a mobile home, we've talked about a campsite. So that one's still up in the air. But anyway, there you go. Yeah, Jake, he wants a campsite. But anyway, uh, we're going to leave you a couple more parting shots of the layout. But this pretty much concludes my... Uh, video blog. I hope that some of you who have not built a layout yet or are thinking about building one or may want to build one for your child would consider doing this. It took with basic power tools and uh, a long afternoon to put the table together. Uh, and that included clamping the styrofoam down on the frame to let it glue or let the glue dry. Next morning I, uh, my wife helped me carry the table upstairs. We, I put the legs on it, put the trim panel on it, and probably it took me about half a day to run wires for my layout, get the toggle switch set in, and get his layout wired up. It's very simple. Since it's DCC, it's all just uh, a bus running underneath with feeder wires in each section coming down. So anyway, I hope you might consider doing this. It's a great little layout, I think. I think he's going to have a lot of fun with it. We're going to do it up real well, just like we would any other model railroad. And I think it'll be a good start for someone's first layout. So.
Anyway, we'll leave you with a few parting shots. Thank you. Good job, bud. <laughs>